let's let a run be a number of consecutive coin flips that are the same. So a run of three might be three heads in a row. And let's let t be the number of runs of length two. This could be either two heads in a row or two tails in a row. So it might look something like this with two heads in a row surrounded by um, tails on either side or two tails in a row surrounded by heads on either side. Let's let u be the number of runs of length one. So it might look something like these two examples. Since there are 10 coin flips, each sequence of 10 coin flips will yield this equation. The number of runs total in a sequence of 10 coins is t plus u. Out of those t plus u runs, we're going to choose t of them to be runs of length two. So that calculation is t plus u choose t. Let's look at some cases. Let's take as our first case, no runs of two and 10 runs of one. This will look like, for example, your first coin flip is a head followed by a tail, followed by another head, followed by another tail, and so on, alternating heads and tails for 10 coin flips. This calculation is 10 choose zero or one sequence. I forgot to mention that we'll be multiplying all these quantities by two because we can reverse the first head or tail and reverse all the heads and tails in our sequence to get an equivalent uh, sequence. So we'll multiply by two at the end. Our next case is we could have in our 10 coin flips, a single run of two, either two heads or two tails, and then on either side, alternating heads and tails. This is a total of nine runs and we're choosing one of them to be a run of two. You can equivalently think of this as a run of two that can start anywhere from the very first toss all the way to the very ninth toss, the ninth and tenth tosses. We can also have two different runs of two tosses and then the rest of them will be runs of length one. Eight total runs, we're choosing two of them to be runs of two. Let's take a look at an example of what this case might look like. These represent our nine coin tosses. I've circled our two runs of two. So the first two tosses are either both heads or both tails, and the fourth and fifth tosses are either both heads or both tails. For example, we fill in the heads and tails according to the length of the run. We could have three runs of two and four single alternating coin tosses. Seven choose three is 35. Let's look at another example. Here's our 10 coin tosses. We can choose our runs of two to be in these positions. And this is what our coin tosses would actually look like. T equals four, U equals two. We have six choose four. Our last case with 10 coin tosses can have as many as five runs of two and no single runs. Here are five runs of two. And this is what our coin tosses could look like. As always, we're gonna multiply by two because the heads and tails can be switched. Our probability is gonna be the total number of possible sequences. We're gonna multiply this by two because we can switch the heads and the tails. We're gonna divide by the total number of sequences of heads and tails in 10 coin flips. And that's our answer.